You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. One of the new faces for Kentucky basketball this season was assistant coach Bruiser Flint. Keith talked with him this week about hoops in general and the Cats' next SEC opponent in this segment presented by Bird, the official shared mobility partner of the University of Kentucky. Coach, first off, uh, just tell me about how you got into the game of basketball, when it started. I mean, like your earliest experience, who put that basketball in your hand? Well, my dad did. Uh, my dad uh, ran a recreation center in Philadelphia. So, uh, I mean, I was the ball boy. I was everything five, six years old. So I, I, I've been around it for a long, long time. So, uh, and I lived in a neighborhood that had some really, really good players. So uh, they sort of came through the wreck and, uh, and uh, that was it. That, that, that's how I got into it. Who were the influencers, uh, you know, maybe aside from your dad, the, the people that like, you know, these guys now look up to LeBron. Who were some of the guys that you were watching in your day that, that kind of pushed you to, to play that kind of game? Uh, my, my, uh, my favorite players growing up was Gus Williams, the wizard, and, uh, and Mo Cheeks, because I was a Philadelphia guy. So, uh, and of course, if you live in Philly, you love Dr. J. So, I mean, uh, you know, you, that, that was it. But from a position standpoint, I was a huge Gus Williams fan and I was a huge Mo Cheeks fan. Those are my two favorite players that I follow and watch. So to try to emulate a little bit uh, when, I was, when, uh, when I was coming up. Yeah, I think that's why I was a 76ers fan. That team when I was growing up was so much fun to watch and, and everything. <laughs> that's some good teams. We uh, had some good teams in the 70s, 80s. We did. They yeah. were fun to watch too. Not just good, but fun to watch. So, so they were good. What's it like uh, coming up through playing at St. Joe and then to go into a Hall of Fame? How cool is that to be in the school's Hall of Fame? <laughs> it was funny uh, uh, when they called me because at this time, I think I'm working at UMass. And uh, uh, when they called me, I thought they were calling to ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I said, what y'all think? I'm making some money now <laughs> since I moved up a little bit. They were like, no, we bring, we're going to put you in the Hall of Fame. But, I mean, it's a great honor. I mean, it's always a great honor to be a part of uh, your school's Hall of Fame. You know, let you know you achieved something. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, it was a great honor. And I, I appreciated everything, uh, you know, to be able to go back. And, you know, you got a little bragging rights, too. You know what I mean? You have some guys that you start getting a little older and uh, people start uh, you know, asking you about your career. Just tell them, go look on the wall. <laughs> so <laughs> that speaks for itself. So, so those are the types of things you get, you know, you get a little braggadocious a little bit, but, uh, but it's, it, it was a great honor to be, uh, uh, be put in the school's Hall of Fame. Hey, it ain't bragging if you've done it. So uh, that, that is a really cool <laughs> honor to, to be a part of that. That's really neat. Something that a lot of us don't get to do. So, so enjoy that. Uh, here's one of the questions I ask the players a lot. What kind of player do you think Coach Cal was? <laughs> be honest with you, I was old and I'm old enough to, to watch him play. <laughs> so <laughs> we used to play pickup from time to time we were somewhere in UMass, but uh, he was okay. He could shoot a little bit, didn't really handle it, but he, he, he wasn't a bad player. He coached <laughs> in the pickup games. So that goes to show you how, how far that goes back. So, but back then we used to play a little pickup. You know, we were still, we were a lot younger, so we're still, a lot of us were still playing. But, uh, but uh, he can shoot the ball a little bit. That's the one thing he can do. Yeah, that's almost exactly how Devin pictured it as well. He thought that, you know, he was the guy out there telling everybody what to do, and you, and you, you called it. So he was coaching. <laughs> I, I believe it. <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk about this team now. And, and the Arkansas game, man, that was the one that I feel like, yeah, there's the corner that got turned and, and unfortunately just came up short on that last play. But, boy, it, this team looked a lot better. Yeah, we uh, – the thing that's really tough about it is that we're just not seeing the results. I think we've really improved as a team over the last, you know, three or four weeks. I think we've gotten a lot better. It's just a shame that we just haven't been able to see the results, uh, like the future fruits of your labor. But I mean, I think the guys have come around. I mean, uh, the biggest thing about uh, the last few weeks, we weren't finishing well. When we get in the Arkansas game, we come back, we have great finish, we, we execute down the stretch. And then, you know, the tough call at the end. But, uh, uh, you know, just want, you want the kids to feel that, that what we've been working on and what we've been saying as coaches to them is, you know, look, guys, we are getting better. Although, you know, we haven't uh, 
uh, been winning games. So we've, we've gotten better. You can see it. Because uh, sometimes I think the kids don't see it themselves. But it would have been good to get that one. But I think we have to feel good about how we finish the game because that's one of the things we've been really stressing. And, uh, and, and that Cal's been really stressing. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can uh, uh, come out on top the next time. But this team has gotten a lot better over the past three weeks. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll bring Jack Goose Givens into the conversation. The Kentucky legend will offer his thoughts on tomorrow's game against Auburn when we return.